Hi, are you tired of your images having no contrast? Can you not see mitochondria in your cells? Oh boy, do I have the thing for you. Two words, fluorescence microscopy. With this new innovation, you can see your samples like never before. How does it differ from bright field microscopy, I hear you ask? Well, watch this. Fluorescence is achieved through the spontaneous emission of photons. To do this, a high energy photon is used to excite electrons in the ground state of the fluorophore. This electron then transitions to higher states in the system before relaxing to the band edge. Then through spontaneous emission, the electron transitions back to the ground state, emitting a photon with a redshifted wavelength. The separation of wavelengths between excitation and emission photons allows for fluorescence images to be resolved without interference from the excitation beam, leading to higher contrast images. Just look at the results. That's not all. You can use different fluorescent tags to distinguish between different structures. And if you're bored of looking at dead things, you can image living cells too. Oh wait, there's still more. There's confocal fluorescent microscopy. Unlike in a wide field fluorescent microscope, we use precisely aligned state-of-the-art pinholes to avoid all out-of-focus light, giving you the best possible contrast and resolution for your micrographs. See this beautiful setup. Never again will you have to struggle against the horrors of diffraction with perfect images every time. Warning, perfection is unattainable. Ability to resolve neighboring fluorophores is limited by numerical apertures. Product obeys the laws of physics. Don't believe me? Well, listen to this. Dr. Edward Ward is a researcher in the Laser Analytics Group here in the Department of Chemical Engineering and Biotechnology at Cambridge University. He actively uses confocal fluorescence microscopy, so we decided to ask him a couple questions. What is confocal microscopy? So confocal microscopy is a fluorescence microscopy technique um, that incorporates a pinhole into the detection branch. So in a conventional fluorescence microscope, you see a lot of contribution from out-of-focus light, and having this pinhole makes the, uh, rejects all that out-of-focus light, and you get a much higher contrast. What are the advantages of using confocal microscopy? So confocal has the advantage of giving you these much higher contrast images compared to wide field. It's also comparatively fast when you compare it to other techniques such as structural illumination, microscopy. It also has the advantage of just being quite a simple technique to use. Um, it's quite easy to pick up for a user and it gives you an image nice and quickly. So what are you using this technique for in this group? So in this lab, overall our confocal is the sort of the workhorse microscope. So it's difficult to say what we're using it for because we're using it for everything. See? He clearly knows what he's talking about. Just look at that lab coat. So don't delay and call number of screen now to get access to this cutting edge technique today. <laughs>